of the border, south of the border. La 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 la. South of the border, south of the border. La 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 la. Hey! Hey, and welcome to another installment of We Never Stop Traveling. Our first stop was Charleston, South Carolina, where we were treated to dinner at this former naval debarkation point. While we were there, these pirates invaded, but our gracious hosts, Heather and Jeremy, didn't seem to mind at all. Act like you love each other. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> also, while we were there, we got to see a blue moon, which happens once in a blue... Oh, never mind. After Charleston, we spent time at the world-famous resort town of Portal, Georgia, the main attraction, my one-and-a-half-year-old genius of a nephew. <laughs> At such a tender young age, he's already mastered many skills, such as driving, <laughs> banging on things, driving, and sleeping while eating. Chair. I should have been <laughs> when he came to the chair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's still. He's, he's shipping some in. Also, when I go back home to the family farm, it helps me get back to nature. The blue skies, the white clouds, the endless row of millet. What can make this better? Ooh, I know. How about a Remington 1187 semi automatic shotgun? Oh, yeah. That'd make it better. Then top it all off with a sunset ride in the back of a mini truck going down a country road. There's got to be a song in there somewhere. After the farm, we left for Savannah, Georgia and ended up at one of Brandy's favorite places, the Savannah Bee Company. Every year we stop here to stock up on honey to get Brandy through the cold DC winters. After a great lunch of salmon and shrimp and grits on the Savannah waterfront, we traveled on to our vacation destination, Fernandina Beach, Florida, which is actually on the bay, but the beach is on the other side of the island. It's kind of weird. Eventually we did find a beach where I got to indulge my nerd passions of finding buried treasure. Brandy also got to relax and develop the dance based on the swimming style of the humble shrimp. Those dance moves were put to good use at this block party. The next day we went for a bicycle ride at Fort Clinch State Park. The fort itself has a very low-key and uninteresting past. It was obsolete before its walls were a third of the way completed, and it never saw any real action. The fort and its surrounding properties have been owned by the state of Florida since 1935, and it's been used for recreational purposes ever since, except for a brief stint during World War II. Before we left Fernandina Beach, we did get to see this bus get stuck in the parking lot. Then it was off to St. Augustine. And that shot, fired from our nation's oldest masonry fort, nearly made me pee myself. There are a lot of tourist-centric shops in St. Augustine, but you don't seem to mind. The architecture, the gardens, and the fountains are a beautiful distraction. One of the most interesting structures is found here at Flagler College. It was one of the first large-scale structures to be created entirely from poured concrete. This structure across the street was made by the same architects. It used to be a grand hotel, but now it houses government offices, and the leftover knickknacks of a rich old guy that they made into a museum. For those of you who don't know, Brandy grew up in St. Augustine. So, after the weather got bad, we decided to take a trip down memory lane and visit some of her old stomping grounds. That was your house? That was my house. We could buy the property and rebuild your house just as it was. I uh, would rather rebuild it for something else. <laughs> This is your mom's shop? No, back there, or the back. That was my mom's shop. And this is the health food store that we would go and get uh, snacks at after school. And that's about all from my vacation, but on the way back I had to stop by Virginia Beach to get some work done. We found out that Virginia Beach really wasn't our speed, uh, but if you do go, there are a few things worth trying. The food, the food, and the food. And I leave you with this face of sweet expectation. <laughs> 